Kylie Platt. This way, love. Where'd you take her? Who? Kylie, she got in one of your cabs. Yeah, she did. Yeah, well, I need to know where she is. Well, why don't you ask her? I've tried that. Mate, if you want to know where your missus is, you better find out from here. I've told you, I can't get hold of her. Now, where is she? So, hurry. Man? Hey, babe, I've always got time to talk to you. Huh? Hmm? Do you know, you better not be making mischief, young lady. I'm sorry, but how can you even think that? Well, it wouldn't be the first time you burst one of my grandson's bubbles, would it, huh? Right, I know where she is. I need your car keys. David, listen, you're in no fit Granny, if I don't... wait, it'll be too late, all right? She's there now, about to abort my baby. I mean, she might have already done it before I know. Now, give me your car keys. Oh, do it. He needs to go. Just one of them things, isn't it? Sometimes you were lying there in bed, and suddenly, I really fancy it. Oh, not in front of Roy. He's got a bad back. No, no, I'm talking about the fried egg. Nothing better, is there? <laughs> you know, I sometimes think there's a truly compelling argument in favour of the simpler things in life. Mm -hmm. Sorry? Well, the birth bogunyos and stroganoffs of this world are all very well, but as Delia says, a perfectly fried egg is a glory to behold. <laughs> well, not if it's burnt. Burnt? Well, it looks all right to me, Roy. The lightly brown frilly edge is completely intentional, I assure you. One tablespoon of bacon fat in a cold pan... Oh, well, well, that's where you're going wrong. No, everyone's got their own way of doing it, Roy. A knob of butter into a hot pan cooked over a medium heat. I think you'll avoid another disaster. That is no... Hey, Mary, stop. It didn't mean anything by it, did you, Roy? Come on, she doesn't have to be here. She's doing us a favour. She deserves your gratitude, not your criticism. If Mary's prepared to put your differences aside, don't you think you should be prepared to meet her halfway? Be the bigger person. I apologise. I accept. Oh, excellent. Tyrone! How are you doing? Listen, uh, I saw Fizz earlier. Oh, is she? Not great, I'm being honest. Kirsty's has been in the cafe winding her up, and she misses you. I miss her too. Tell you what, how about the pair of you tomorrow meeting mine while Kirsty's at work? Maybe you could cheer each other up. Best be going. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having us. Look, I'm sorry, but Simon's been around too many people who drink, and I don't want him around that. Of course, I understand. It's fine. Bye, Dev. Yeah. Come on, boys. Bye. Bye. What's going on? What? You know what? With you and him, are you gonna let him humiliate you like that? It was just the drink talking. Oh, well, yeah, that's okay, isn't it? As long as the drink and not your boyfriend. And what's he doing getting off his face in the middle of the afternoon? We're just going through a rough patch, that's all. <laughs> You've been together for five minutes. If things are rough now, how do you think he's gonna treat you further down the line? He's the loser. And from where I'm standing, he is using you because you are the one that's putting the food on the table and you are the one that's putting a roof over his head. And what has he done for you? Nothing. I don't need relationship advice from you. You deserve more. Where are you going? You always did. <laughs> Your back feels better, Roy. And thanks ever so much, Mary. You've been a real lifesaver. My pleasure. C can you not stay till Hayley gets back? Uh, only if I fancy my toddler making her own way home from nursery. Yes, yes, of course. Roy, I don't know why you don't just go up to bed. I mean, you're no use to man nor beast down here, are you? So, think they put, but I think I shall stay. OK, right, I better run. Oh. Hello? I've missed you. Me too. Kirsty was in before, you know. Going on and on about the wedding. I felt like my head was going to explode. Well, not long now. No, I know. I had an aunt, Mitty. Uh, or, well, Mildred, but she thought it made her sound like a spinster headmistress, which, of course, she was. By the way, Mitty was a martyr to lumbago for the best part of her adult life. <laughs> I, 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 yes, well, well. Well, I can honestly say 
Her life was transformed the day she was given some homemade liniment by a local gentleman farmer. But they, but they use that on horses, don't they? Oh, indeed. I can still smell it. Camphor and cinnamon, a heady combination. I believe acupuncture has enjoyed a degree of success in the lumber region. Ah, oh, yes. The modern wonders of the Orient. I could fetch you a bottle. When there's a lull. If you'd like. Please. <sighs> right, I'll see you at Tina's then. Yeah, me too. Bye. Tyrone? What are you doing out here? I didn't hear you coming in. Um, I, I was just going to tidy up. Ruby's asleep. What are you doing back so early? I need to get the forest number for Julie. I better get back. I'll see you later. Uh, Kylie, I'm, I'm looking for Kylie Platt. I'm sorry, sir. I'm afraid I can't. No, no, have I, any I know she's here, all right? She's my wife. I've got a right and I want to see her now. You're going to have to calm down. You're not allowed! Kylie! Come back! Kylie! What are you doing here? I was going to ask you the same thing. So what is it? Hmm? Is he good in bed? Boom. <laughs> is that it? Well, come on, it must be some reason why you put up with him. And it sure the hell isn't because he makes you happy. He hasn't always been like Sanita, this. Sanita, you are making excuses for him again. I bet you love him this time. Was that what you think? Would you really think that I want you to be miserable, to be with someone like that? Honey, he treats you like a doormat. He talks to you like dirt in front of our kids. So, all right. We're over. OK? And I get it. I get it, but it doesn't mean to say that I don't care what happens to you, because I do. You are my wife. You're the mother of my children. Now, where did that woman go? Where is she? I don't know. Honey, I want you to be happy. I do. I want you to be happy, and I want you to be with someone who deserves you, but it's not him. Ah, oh, very touching. Look, I'll get the kids, and I'll take them back to my place for a bit, yeah? You haven't already done it, have you? Please, Kylie, tell me. <sighs> How did you find out? Eva. And she was right to tell me and all. How could you get rid of our baby? Why would you do that? You need to go. OK, Mr Platt. No, I'm not going anywhere without her. Sorry, but if you don't leave, I'm going to have to call the police. Escort Mr Platt from the premises, please. No, Kylie, Kylie, please don't do this. Don't get rid of our baby. Please, Kylie! Are you OK? You weren't supposed to find out. It's your decision, Kyla. But if you want some time to think about it, it's not a problem. I can't have this baby knowing it might not be his. We're going to get off if that's OK. Julie, you know when Rob came by here, he was on his own, right? He said he wanted to clear his desk. And you saw him do it, did you? Oh, well, no. Like I said, he came in the office on his own. Sorry, sh sh should I have... <laughs> right, so he came in here, OK? When he knew you weren't around. Supposedly to clear his desk. Yeah. Oh, please, Michelle, tell me he's not still got access to the diary. No. It wouldn't matter even if he did, cos I didn't put that appointment in the diary till later in the day. Oh, I don't oh. believe it. No, someone has granted permission to a guest user. I am going to flame him well, kill him. Well, I suppose I felt a bit sorry for him. I'll tell you what, if any man ever spoke to me like that, I'd... You all right? Fine. It's a bit tired, doesn't it? Oh. <laughs> oh. 
Hey, Graham, what's up? Do you know, to be honest, I don't know where to start. Well, firstly, I need a gin and tonic, a very large one, please. You will not believe the day I've had today. It seems, wait for this, Kylie is pregnant. Pregnant? Since when? Oh, who knows? Well, I hope they know what they're doing. It's not five minutes since they were at each other's throats. David, I expect, will be over the moon. Yeah, well, just you hang on before you go buying bibs and booties. Why, well, there's nothing wrong, is there? Yes, plenty. Apparently, Kylie has booked herself in for an abortion without telling David she's pregnant. That's ridiculous. Yes, well, I wish it was. I don't get it. Why would you do that? David knows? Yes. He's just dashed up there now trying to stop her. I mean, Lord knows if he'll be in time. Well, he'll be devastated. And Kylie would know that, so if you ask me, no, she's okay. done it. Look, we should keep out of it. I don't agree. We're family. It's going to need our support yeah. to get over this. Actually, she's right. I mean, goodness knows what's possessed the girl. Poor David. OK, look, whatever her reason for doing it, she obviously thinks it's the right one. Changed. I don't even know what you're doing here. You're pregnant with our baby. I'm not keeping it. You don't know what you're saying. As I've just said, I'm not keeping it. Why are you doing this to me? It's not the right time. We don't even know if things are going to be all right between us. But things are great. I'm not. We've hardly been speaking. That was before. Everything's all right now. We're sorted. For how long? A week? A month? How long before it falls apart again? What if I'm left a single mum with two kids to bring up? Well, that's not going to happen. Stuff happens. Happens all the time. If we're not 100% committed, not totally rock solid, a baby's just going to destroy us. Wait, if, if you get rid of it now, that's going to destroy us. You know how much I want a baby. And we'll have one. Just not now. I've got to go. No, please, Kylie, don't. Don't do this to us. Just stay and talk to me. Please, just get in and I'll take you home and we can speak. Please. You owe me that much at least. Nothing's changed. And nothing will change. He always was devious. Yep, and charming. That's a fatal combination, that. Mm, one can only hope. <laughs> well, look, at least now we know we can stop him from poaching any more of our customers, can't we? Right, access denied. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Why don't you put a meeting in there for 1.15 tomorrow? I think it's about time young Roberto got a taste of his own medicine, don't you? Hmm? We need to talk. What's to say? Your apologies mean nothing to me. Well, I was hoping for one from you. Thing is, Sunita, you have lost nothing. You've got your house, you've got your kids, you've got your husband, because we both know the devil take you back tomorrow. Whereas me, I've lost everything, everything I cared about anyhow. So, what have I got to apologise for? If you think I've lost nothing, you're wrong. I've lost my self-respect. Yeah. And I bet I know when that happened. The second you deleted that text because you are a manipulative little cow. Well, if you think I am, it's what you've made me. You know what? Stella was right when she said I'd regret taking you on. Cos you're a liar, gambler, and you're cruel. <laughs> I was never cruel to Stella. <sighs> well, you keep telling yourself that. It's over. It was over before I moved in, sweetheart. Well, then, you'll have no problem moving out. Go where? No, you wanted me, Sunita. Well, you've got me. Mary! Yes? 
It is I. Oh, Bri, that's marvellous. You're back on your feet. Where there's a will. Oh, oh yes, and uh, a deep kneading with Auntie Mitty's liniment. <laughs> Mary thought the heat might aid the process. Well, uh, whatever does the trick, eh? Well done, Mary. And I must say, it's great to see you both getting on so well. <laughs> I can honestly say, Hayley, that we have stood side by side. Well, Roy sat, I stood, manning the barricades, and I, for one, have thoroughly enjoyed myself. Yes. Right. Well, time to hang up your pinny. About tomorrow. Yes. Obviously, I am available if you need me. Well, that, that, that would be very helpful, Jess. Yes, thank you. Right. Yeah. Bye, then. Yeah. Bye, Mary. Bye. Sorry, it's, it's just where I bash it with the pram as I'm getting in and out. I'm sorry. Oh, baby, it's fine. I've done myself a few times. Just touch it up with a bit of pain, no one notice. No worries, I'll do it in the morning. What makes more sense to do it now, doesn't it? Ruby's upstairs. We can let the door open for half an hour to let the fumes out. Why do you men always want to put things off? Well, what are you doing? I saw the paint can when you were out by the shed earlier. No, um, we had some left over from the living room. You wouldn't want to bet on that, would you? Uh, do you reckon it's a good idea leaving that door open? It's cold outside. The, the draft will blow right upstairs. <laughs> You're such a worry, Guts. What is it? No, um, it's this is on. How could you even think of doing it and not tell me? Because I knew how you'd react. But, right, what if I'd not found out, right? What if I'd just come home for me tea and you'd be standing there like nothing happened? I love you so much. I know. And I love you too. I'm not saying we'll never have a baby, just not now. Please, babe, please try and understand. I can't. You see, the thing is, I know me. And I know if you go ahead with it, I'll never get over no, it. No, you will. No, I won't. I've already lost one kid, Kylie. And that baby is part of us. You and me. All, all the problems we've got, right? There's nothing we can't deal with. Nothing. You're my soulmate. How can I bring this baby into the world knowing that I didn't want it? You're just scared, babe. But I'm here for you. I'm yours. And you're mine. Both of you. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> if you don't love me enough to have this baby, we're finished. No. No problem. Give Stella a laugh at any rate. Doubt it. The guy's a right scumbag. Guess you've been talking to Dad? No. I've been talking to Carl. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Hey, what are you doing? What does it look like? Getting rid of a bad smell from my home. Pick him up. You're not going in there. Open the door. Just go! Told you. I'll leave when I'm ready. Carl! Say one more word. Because believe me, that's what I'm going to need to do, what I've been dying to do for a long time. See, I told you, Sunita. You've lost nothing. You just take your things and just get away from my house and my kids. Are you okay? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure.
sorry to disappoint you, but no, I haven't. Oh. Oh. What have you told David? Don't worry. Nothing that involves you. Oh, come on. That's not fair. Fair? What's fair about this? If I get rid of it, I'm screwed. Because David will never forgive me. If I keep it, and it's yours, I'm screwed. Because I'll never forgive myself. Or you. Or the baby. Either way, I lose. So tell me. What am I going to do? Michelle Keegan, who plays Tina, will be on the daybreak sofa tomorrow morning. So, an injured sidekick and a murdered sidekick. Sounds like it's going to be a busy shift for Lewis next. And there's a brilliant brand new comedy lineup on ITV2 next, starting with Ben and Kate. <laughs>